okay so if you decided to stick with old pokemon as of now uh, or maybe just check out both and see which one's better so just let's just get started with op it's going to be really easy for you to understand since we already done with corners so for corners we had this buffer we shot to here and we just set up to this piece set up all the pieces we need to shoot it to shoot to this piece did the swap and undo same thing here the buffer is this and we can either shoot to this piece or this piece or this piece uh, depending on how feasible we can like how, which is more feasible so uh, any of these places we can shoot to and then do the swap and like do it so we know we just can't swap two edges we need to we will have a um another swap as well so the temporary swap in corners was these two pieces for edges it's these two corners so uh, so basically we're going to use a pll any pll that swaps these two corners and any of edges with this one so any of these edges with this one so th basically the some else that do that do swap these two corners is a t perm which is the most commonly used in op we swap these two we swap the buffer with this piece over here so you can set up pieces to over to over here and do a swap so just in case we want to move we swap this piece with this we can just move it over here do the t perm and undo one thing we need to make we need to uh, take care of even during corners which I, I guess i didn't mention is we just can't disrupt the temporary swap pieces even for anything so all all uh, like all setup moves should be done without messing up the temporary swap pieces so you just can't uh, do something like if you want to move this piece to over here just can't do something like that that because you're messing up the temporary swap and you just can't do that if you do that you'll mess up your solve so you need to make sure you have these the temporary swap pieces intact so we did the first swap with this this piece so we can just for example if we need to shoot to here i can just, just do an l prime do a T perm and undo. Uh, what you can alter, we can you can also do is uh, which is quite quite optional and not it's not quite necessary. Some people do that. I used to do when I uh, when I was doing OPHs. You can uh, actually use these two pieces as well. So um, basically, uh, if if you need to swap to shoot to this piece, you can basically do a J perm which does the same thing swaps these two which is a temporary swap and swaps this with a buffer uh, same with this one uh, you can do a good j perm like that and yeah uh, for something like maybe something like this you can do an m2 setup two over here do a j perm and set up back yeah. so yeah uh, Okay, whatever i'm gonna start with an example solve right away so i'm in my orientation this is the buffer for op so let's start off so it is <clears throat> u to y to b to j to f to n to v to p so we end at p so the piece gets into its place so let's start right away uh, the first is u so this piece which i already just which i just showed right now you can do an m2 and do a j perm and m2 back to solve this next is y which is right here which uh, we can set up to here by doing d2 l2 and undo setup next is b which is simply here so we can just just a t perm away from being solved j can be solved by doing a wide d prime and l prime uh, do the t perm and undo f can be just solved by doing an l prime and doing the t perm next is n which is right here uh, which can be done by doing wide d2 and wait a uh, wide d2 and l prime t perm and undo lastly it's just uh no, not not lastly we have this piece uh, which is v r2 away and yeah and the last one is just back there so it's an l uh, t perm and you solve it so yeah that's basically the hang of um, 
op corners this particular solve didn't include any of uh any of complications like twisted edges uh, i'm sorry flipped edges uh parity or something like cycle breaks we're going to talk about that in the next video which is really really important just don't try to attempt a 3b ld solve before watching that video um so yeah just uh, watch that video and i'm sure you'll be able to do your first 3b ld attempt after that yeah see you in the next video